okay now i'm starting with this chapter deep water everybody please switch on your videos very few videos are on jaisa bhi aapka camera hai video on rakhiye now vijay mo jogris had developed an aversion to the water now we people have uh, various phobias theek hai har matlab kai baar aapne suna hoga ya dekha hoga ya even you people might have uh, phobia there are various kinds of phobia phobia is a kind of a uh, mental fear you can say right we people develop certain phobias uh, phobias are from darkness phobias are from uh, animals at times Uh, then we have uh, water hydrophobia jisko hum bolte hain pa water ka fear hota hai phobia hota hai then uh, phobia from fire so all these at times insects reptiles rats so there are different kinds of phobias we people have right humans have they are kind of a mental fear which a person develops a person develops an aversion from a situation or an object right that is known as a phobia now this is a story where the writer uh, william douglas he talks about uh, abhishek is questioning q abhishek uh, there is no reason why we uh, develop a phobia this is mental you can say a small disorder kind of a thing at times in the initial stage when one thing is uh, we find something very scary or maybe the thing or the situation comes to us when we uh, first time we are prone to such a situation or such an object we are scared maybe because of the situation or what or we feel that this may harm us then we develop a phobia right i have seen various people where they are hydrophobic they develop they develop a kind of a phobia for everybody uh, they develop a kind of a phobia from water now these people they are very scared of entering into water entering into water bodies are not just talking about rivers lakes or ponds or sea even when they are uh, having water even if a um, glass of water or a tumbler of water is thrown upon the, over their head and the water dripples over their face their eyes are closed they scream out of fear this thing also happens they are so much scared of uh, water now this is the story where william toplers who has developed an aversion to the water when he was just 3 or 4 years old his father had taken him to the beach in california now this is what he uh, talks about from the beginning itself his father had taken him uh, no, taken him to a beach in california now they stood together on the surf on the beach uh, they had they were standing together the waves knocked him down and swept over him so this was one incident because of which the author developed this aversion to water like you people ask him am i so kyun hota hai why a person develops a phobia say this it was when he was very small just a 3 year old or 4 year child is very small but then uh, as he was standing on the beach the waves knocked him down and uh, swept over him again many people have switched off the video i very actually this is very disturbing and mol arora anshika agarwal anshika sharma <coughs> Ayush, Devya, Ekta, switch on your videos, please. Now I'll start removing you guys. Harshit Kumar, Kashish, Vabha, Visha, Vridhi, Saksham Sharma, switch on your video, everybody. Better, please be there, everybody. Now. Abhi bhi bahut hai, jinon ne nahi on kara hai. Main kal se remove karna start kar dunga. okay so that was one incident when the boy uh, the author was just little boy of 3 or 4 years of age and he was stat, uh, standing with his father in uh, california and he was just at the beach now a big wave came and swept over him right a big wave came and swept over him so he was frightened his father laughed but the overpowering force of the wave they filled terror in his heart it was a small incident a big wave came and swept upon his face the father started laughing obviously the child was safe there was nothing like he was unsafe or he was carried away by the sea wave nothing like that but that small incident that created the force of the sea wave that created terror in him right unpleasant memories were revived when he went to then afterwards then he was taken to uh, ymca pool 
right? YMCA is maybe a name of an organization or a society where swimming was, uh, swimming pool was there. Then as the child grew up and he went to YMCA pool for the first time, the childish fears he still had in his mind, right? But then again, he tried to overcome his fear. He gathered confidence and he somehow entered uh, into the pool. Now, when he went to the pool, there was no one else. There was nobody else near the pool when he entered that area. So he sat on the side of the pool to wait for others. So he was waiting for other people to come and join. Shortly afterwards, there was a boy, a boxer boy. This boy was a boxer. So a boxer boy picked Douglas and threw him into deep end. Now, he was a very, you can call him a notorious person or a naughty person who, without in, even knowing Douglas, he was a boxer child and he picked up, picked him up and he threw him into the pool. Now, a person who is already having that phobia, right? He was somehow trying to overcome that fear of his, trying to overcome that aversion of water. But before he was able to do that, he was pushed forcefully by somebody into the pond. Now, water is a very strong force. Though we, not, uh, we may not be able to realize it, likewise uh, when we are sitting at our homes normally. We realize that fire is a very strong force, but we do not realize that water is such a big force. Right? So, this uh, boy, when he was pushed into the pond, he was actually taken aback. Yeah. He was stuck in a sitting position. He was in the pool in that sitting position only. He swallowed water and once went to the bottom. He swallowed water, went to the bottom. Now he was scared. He was frightened. The little boy who already had this fear. Yes, please. Bolo, beta, somebody wants to question something. I heard a voice. Okay, let me continue this. So, he swallowed water and at once he went to the bottom. So, he touched the bottom of the pool. That in that sitting position only, he was thrown into the pond and in that position only, he touched the bottom. His feet touched the bottom. Now, he would come to the surface like a cock. Lie flat on it and then paddle to the edge of the pool. Now, this was a very difficult situation for him. He already had that fear. He was forcefully pushed into the pond. He didn't know how to swim. So he realized that if I touch my feet straight into the pool and jump up, then he will come up to the surface like a cork. Just a cork jump karke upar ko aajati hai, to wo aise usme pressure se upar aajayega on the surface of the pool. That was his strategy here. He adopted that strategy and he tried, right? Though he was, uh, once he did that, twice he did that, and finally he, somehow he came out of the pool. That was one incident, first incident I told you, that was at the California beach. Second incident when this uh, happened, when he was there at the pool waiting for others to come and he was pushed inside the pool by a boxer boy. Now a few years later, he came to know the waters of cascades, right? waters of cascade he was aware of that and he wanted to get into them he wanted to go for that adventure trip see here one thing we need to understand though the writer had that aversion to water he had developed the fear of he was hydrophobic right so two three these incidents had uh, happened with him because which made him more scared of uh, water but every time he was willing and he wanted to overcome his fear right it was not that uh, he didn't want it. Every time he wanted to overcome this fear or this aversion of water. Now, so a few years later, when he came to know of the waters of Cascades, he wanted to get into them. He had that will pass still and he wished to get into that water. Whenever he did so, the terror that had seized him in the pool returned. Whenever he tried, he tried several times, but whenever he tried, that previous terror, the two incidents which had already happened with him. One, when he was very small and more than that, more horrible and more terrifying than that was 
the second incident when he was pushed in by a wrestler boy into the pool and he was at the brink of being drowned right so these incidents uh, had the terror upon him whenever he tried to overcome his fear but he any every time he wanted to swim in the water of catfish so he used every method he knew to overcome his fear finally he decided to get an instructor and learn how to swim he went to a pool and practiced 5 days a week an hour each day so he went to a pool he hired an instructor who taught him how to swim how to overcome his fear and this instructor he helped he helped him and he practiced 5 days a week an hour each day right this is the basic uh, you can say introductory part i have given you not introductory i have almost covered the half of it now the second half of it is how he overcame his fear with the help of this instructor what all strokes he taught him there is no story in this chapter as there is no flow as such the only flow here the only thing here is that the writer who had this aversion to water he was hydrophobic how he uh, tried to overcome his fear of uh, water that is all the story about so these two inc incidents were majorly responsible for creating this aversion to water and then he had an instructor he really practiced hard and he adopted several strategies to overcome this fear am i clear till this point guys please show me your thumbs up if it's clear abhishek i can see yours harshika i can see yours anushka i can see yours anushka can you see is it clear sir i can see yours harsh i can see anushka i can see from divya i got a message yes divya please switch on your camera now i'll be happy to see you ekta kapoor gurnoor harjas harjas i have not seen your face harshit kumar gurnoor kaur khushi visha goel and vridhi please switch on your cameras number is there good okay now this is the uh, half of the story i have done i have told you the second part what it is related to i would not like to go into the detail of the second part today i mean it's not the second part as such the story is in one part only but the second half i am not going to tell it discuss it with you people today today we i'm just going to get into the detail of uh, what all we have done till now now how did the feelings of terror return to douglas at the lake went towards this was the name uh of the lake where he went for uh, Yeah, this was the lake where he went for trying to overcome his fear i'll come to the section afterwards uh, okay jogler's mother was the one who recommended him that he should learn swimming at the ymca swimming pool why do you think what was the reason that uh, mother had recommended for this please give me your answer his mother recommended him to learn swimming at the ymca pool and that incident that the that the he was pushed up pushed by a wrestling boy in the pool that was there at the ymca pool only so why mother recommended that anybody could guess any answers see the answer to this is that mother wanted him to learn swimming at mother wanted him to learn swimming at pool as a uh, as a pool was considered as safe right there was an instructor at the pool itself was not very uh, deep and many people came there to learn swim obviously when there are certain uh, sports complexes or pools where uh, swimming is taught or people go there to swim generally they have an instructor the norms are uh, in consider are considered there swimming norms are kept in mind so they are comparatively more safe than these open water bodies like river or a lake so the mother because of it the mother recommended the child that he should try to overcome his fear by going to this ymca pool now what lesson did douglas learn when he got off uh, his fear of water got rid of his fear of water this also we are going to do it afterwards <laughs> what fear did the writer have to overcome in order to learn swimming at ymca 
This is a simple question. I think you people can answer me back. Hira, can I have the answer from you? Hira, please unmute. Uh, Harsh, unmute Hira. Harsh, please unmute Thira. Is Harsh there? Yes, ma'am. Harsh, but can you help me? Beta, isko Thira ko unmute karo. Ma'am, Thira kar diya. Okay. Thira, I'm repeating my question again. What fear did the writer have to overcome in order to learn swimming at the YMCA? He had a uh, fear of water. Mm -hmm. So he went to learn swimming there. That's all. Okay, he had that fear of water, that is true. Now his greatest problem was at the unpleasant memories that the childhood fears of water. Here you also need to talk about the unpleasant memory of uh, the beach at California where he was standing with his father and a big sea wave uh, waved upon, sea wave came to his face because of which he as a child just when he was just three or four years of old he developed this aversion to water right so uh, that wave has knocked him down and that developed his uh, aversion to water so besides he hated to walk <laughs> next to the pool and show his skinny legs for this he had no subduous pride he also hated to uh, walk at a pool, you know, with his skinny legs and not wearing uh, much clothes. So obviously that was also very disturbing for him. He never liked all these things. Yeah, as a person, he hated all. Yeah. Now, my next question, please pay attention. What did the narrator think? Narrator missed something because of his fear of water. See, this is, uh, I have not covered the major portion of the chapter with you people, yet we have to do. This is just your thinking. What do you think? What people miss, all those who have this aversion to water? They miss that uh, fun of taking baths in river bodies. Like we people, we Indians, we also believe in, uh, uh, we have several holy rivers like Ganga, Yamuna, and we often on uh, religious festivals or wherever we get time, we go to visit such places and we take bath. So we have, uh, uh, apart from this uh, religious sanctity, we otherwise also we enjoy ourselves playing in the river water, playing in or enjoying ourselves, right? There are many water sports are also there these days. So obviously, if the person is not able to do so, he misses these things, right? He misses the water sports. There are certain adventures related to uh, water. So whenever the writer was... Uh, there in the he would be reminded of the terrifying experience in the pool fear would grip him and his legs would become paralyzed even when he went for fishing he, the same fear followed him he was not even able to do fishing fishing is one such activity where you need not actually go into the water right you can also sit at a river bank and you can do the fishing you can just throw a net and you can do fishing or that fishing net the small fishing net also you can just sit at the river bank and you can do it but the terror was so deep in him that he was not able to do that also it ruined his fishing trips deprived him of the joy of boating swimming and canoe right so the author felt deprived of fishing uh, boating swimming canoeing and having that fun and water with his friends Am I clear with this question? Guys, please show me your thumbs up. Am I clear with whatever content I'm giving it to you? Right. Fine. The problem is that when I am speaking, I don't know whether you are getting it or not. So keep responding from time to time. It's not a one-way class. It should be a both-way communication. Okay. Now, uh, what did Douglas plan when he was thrown in the pool? When this rescue boy pushed him inside the pool, Right, he planned something. Now, obviously, that terror was—he uh, was taken away by that strong feeling of terror. He was very scared. Right? I told you this plan that how he could save himself.
see when an 18 year old big uh, boy bruiser boy bruiser or a fighter or a wrestler kind of a boy with a rippling muscles he picked up the skinny doglus and tossed him into the deep end of the pool he picked up doglus and he pushed him in the pool he threw him not exactly pushed him he threw him into the pool now at that time when he was in the pool he was about to touch the bottom he started planning how he would save his life that was the plan you remember i talked about like coming to the pool like a cock that is all about doglus landed in sitting position and reached the bottom of the pool now he thought and decided that he would make a big jump come to the surface lie flat and then paddle to the edge of the pool right what he thought that uh, when his feet would touch the bottom of the uh, bottom of the pool he would jump up right and because of which he would uh, come up to the surface like a cork and then he would lie flat and he would paddle pedaling karke he would come to the edge of the pool that was his plan then right am i clear with this answer manmi good to see you i want that your camera should be on every time Okay, ma'am. Okay. So, am I now? I am continuing further. What happened with Douglas? Now, when he was in the pool, thrice he tried. Right? Thrice he tried. When Douglas went down the third time, he sucked the air but got water. All efforts stopped. his legs felt limp now when in the ymca pool he uh, adopted that strategy none of you question me ma'am whether that strategy worked or not thrice he tried but he failed to do that all effort in the when the third time he tried all effort ceased his legs felt limp all blackness swept over his brain he was completely blank blackness means his eyes were now closing down and he could not think also uh, wiped out fear then terror and when peace descended he went into oblivion and when he was like able to think he went into oblivion means he was unconscious thrice he tried three times usne try kiya ki wo same strategy adopt kare jump kare bottom pe pahunchte hi and then he would rise up as a cock lie flat on the surface and then he would paddle to the edge but it didn't work three times he tried and the third time he was almost unconscious his mind uh, was black out completely and he tried to shout but no words came out and then ultimately he was uh, helped by an by an instructor or a person standing nearby who took him outside the pool where he was like black now that is all for this question uh what do we understand about doglus as a child how much have you understood him the amount of chapter which we have read till now what do we understand about the person about douglas as a child please start writing in the chat box one one point each so that i get answers from you people abhishek manmeet please i want to have one one point from you people arshita sharma give me one point from you i want one answer one pointer from you anushka bansal anushka kothari abhishek had fear of water harshita sharma abhishek agarwal to all hai kya hai harshita sharma that i know i can understand that he had developed that fear of water he had a diversion to water what kind of a person was he apart from that abhishek question is what do you what impression do you get of douglas he was too much motivated and he's trying to overcome the fear okay anushka bansal is saying that he was motivated he was a self motivated person who every time he wanted to overcome his phobia or aversion to water good one see basically what we understand that the writer doesn't give up though twice he had faced such instances where he was almost uh, for the second time especially in the ymca pool he was almost drowned right he was unconscious in water so uh, but still he never gave up his perseverance to overcome the fear by appointing an instructor to teach him swimming speaks about his character that thing tells him uh, tells us about his character that he was too willing to overcome this 
weakness of his. He knew that he had an aversion of water because of which he was badly missing certain things, whether it was uh, swimming, boating, fishing, canoeing, that fun with friends he was missing. So he was very sure that he wanted to overcome that fear. He wanted to overcome that, uh, he wanted to defeat that phobia, we can say. And he was a strong character person in that sense. Now, it was his personal effort that made him overcome his childhood fear. He had that strong willpower to overcome his fear. Many of us have certain uh, phobias or we feel scared of certain things. But unless and until we feel that we can do it and we have that fear of overcoming our fear, we are not able to do that. Right? So he was determined to get rid of his fear. Very true, Harshita. So, uh, and he did everything. He adopted to uh, the strategy. He, he, he tried to adopt many strategies. He did everything, whatever he could, to overcome that fear. Right? Now, we are short of time now. It's hard, hardly four minutes are left. So, uh, any doubt, so now you can please question me. Abhishek Agarwal is saying he was not letting his fear overcome him. Very true. Anji, any questions, any doubts, please ask me. Either you can unmute yourself or you can write in the chat box. No doubts. Now the second section, how at last he was able to uh, remove, uh, overcome this fear or this aversion to water. That I'll be covering tomorrow. Right? See, it's a long chapter. The content is very long one. I cannot take the content, everything, uh, I cannot read word to word in the online class. But tomorrow I am going to take up in detail what all we have done today and I am going to uh, complete the chapter. Yeah. Um, that's it. Please, NCRT back question answers. If you have still not done them, kindly do it. Because it's going to be a big <coughs> trouble for you afterwards. Because then you have to complete for every chapter later on. And you will not be connected to the chapter. Right now, I'm explaining it to you. Each and every topic understood. Okay, Saksham. Done. Saksham Sharma is saying he has done.